the, the project comes in association with a module that I developed called Interactions with the Environment. And the module itself is based around the notion that if we are to effect behaviour change in association with the issues about sustainability that we're confronted with, uh, we need to think about the material world differently from how we have done in the past. So the, the title Advocacy in the Anthropocene then uh, links to the notion that I think we need to advocate for the planet, to represent the planet, to think about the planet in different ways. So the course interactions with the environment when, when looking or provoking the students to look at the material in, world in a different way, um, I'm asking them to be uh, the custodians and the guardians of the planet in light of the fact that we could be the things that are damaging it. Um, in association with that, um, I changed delivery away from uh, reliance on lectures exclusively and much more towards working in the anthropology lab where we engage with materials to see how that substance of the earth kind of is provoked to behave in relationship with the human body. How, it's a, in a way, to try and find the voice of the material. We also decided to create our own landfill site in the class. So as each week went past, we, we accumulated rubbish, piled up uh, uh, this landfill site in the middle of the classroom, which uh, the students didn't realise I was going to ask them to engage with at the end of the course. Now we'd looked at rubbish through history, we'd looked at uh, archaeological middens and how uh, rubbish piles in prehistory are um, considered you know something like uh, they could be considered something like a status pile this is how much I consume and we look at how now we have different conceptions about hoarding about consumption about accumulating and about creating waste we looked at creating waste in Africa and how waste is understood very differently in different uh, cultural settings and different continents and when I asked them to take ownership of what they the rubbish that they had created there were lots of turned up noses and problems uh, doing that. But once they did, they got down and dirty with this rubbish and they sorted it and they recognised how much of it we could not do anything with and that was going to stay around on the planet causing problems for a very long time. And they were horrified at the amount of rubbish that they were creating in just one small term, just that one class. What's happened to this group of students is that they've realised that they are the people who are creating these things. It's not somewhere at a distance. It's not somewhere else. It's not a landfill site somewhere far, far away. Oh gosh, what a terrible thing. Look at that landfill. The landfill was there in the room with them. They couldn't get away from it and it was theirs and it was of their making. At, at root, what happened then was uh, they, they realized their responsibility and that they can make a difference by changing their behavior. Um, so the, the basic kind of tenets of this module link directly with Inspire's agenda, so the university's uh, sustainability agenda as, as through Inspire, because not only are we covering subjects and topics in a particular way, focused through the lens of sustainability, but we're also creating graduates who will be those people who, can, who know how to address problems, who recognise problems, who seek solutions, and who go out with a culturally sensitive sense of their citizenship. Um, who are active, who are leaders, who, who recognise where change needs to be made in their own uh, behaviours. But this format of module allows that to be the case. So I wish other institutions would pick up this model.